Well, hey, and <laughs> welcome to another episode of Beetle Dust. You know, you're getting sick of me this week. You got to be by this point. All right, we got more to come too. <laughs> so anyways, I'm uh, going to talk today about another new item I got. Recent release. This is probably the most recent of the recent releases I've got. And we're going to talk about that one today. But that is uh, this guy, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Long After Dark Deluxe Box. All right, let's see the intro. So yeah, I got the, the Long After Dark, the Deluxe Edition here that just came out. This was released on October 18th, this past Friday of 2024. The original album came out on November 2nd of 1982. Really good album. I've become a huge Sean Petty fan, if you've probably known from the channel. And when I saw this announcement, I was very excited for it. I, I've been really looking forward to this. And uh, this is a decent album. I've always liked this album of his once I got listening to it and everything. Uh, and it, it's really kind of cool. They found some kind of lost, rediscovered tracks here. Um, some from French TV uh, was some of the tracks here, some live stuff from that. And uh, seven of the tracks on the new stuff is previously unreleased. So some new stuff here for Petty fans. We'll take a look at it. Uh, this is one of the, the various packages you could get. And this is the two CD deluxe set. And it's a three disc set, actually. It's a two CD and a Blu-ray. So Beatles, uh, take a note here. <laughs> Tom Petty's getting us a Blu-ray version. Uh, there is the back, though, with the track listing. I'm not too thrilled with this packaging. I wish they would have done kind of that mini box set like the Beatles do do with the, the special editions like the Revolver, Sgt. Peppers, all that. Uh, the, the recent 50th anniversary special edition packages have got the little, like it's just basically a little mini box set. Um, with a kind of a package like this. Um, I wish they would have went with that. This is a little cheap, I got to say, but I still like it. Uh, but it, it does fold out here, and we've got some info there, really cool picture, kind of almost silvery kind of look to it. That's kind of cool. And then we got this. Now, I don't know if this was packaged in here, right, because this is really odd. I don't know if you'll see it on the camera here, uh, but you can see there's a little kind of circular uh, line in the the cardboard here um where the disc would go in it would be on this side here and this side it is uh straight now that would tell me <laughs> that the booklet is on that end one and the disc are in these first ones but this is how it was packaged and we got the booklet and i'll show you also the hype sticker here so the booklet there okay. hype sticker in here i'll hold that for you and decent little booklet, nothing much here. Pretty standard CD type booklet, lyrics and such here. And yeah, I'll just flip through it quick here. A few more pictures there. And nice picture on the back. But yeah, the, the booklet was in the first pocket, which is rounded. <laughs> and then we got disc one in the second pocket. And I'll show you the label on that. Gray looking, that turquoise and that and i'm actually going to switch it up i know it came that way i've got it documented that it came that way but disc one's going to go in there now and so forth and so on because <laughs> it just to me makes sense and here is disc two with the bonus tracks and that the red label on that we've got the third disc and this one's in the squared pocket <laughs> and this is the blu-ray it's got all the 5.1 and everything on it. I'm gonna put that now in that pocket and I'm gonna get the booklet in this pocket, I suppose because of the page there, but I can make it work. So there we go. I think it'll be easier to get out too when I wanna get it out, but there we go. Uh, so not much really to show on this one. Um, fold it back up there, show you the back, front again, spying that way, spying that way. Yeah, two CD plus the Blu-ray. Newly remastered on the main album there. And then uh, 12 rediscovered tracks, seven of which are previously unreleased. Um, liner notes by David Frick. Um, the Blu-ray is high-res stereo uh, with an Atmos engineered by Ryan Ryan somebody, Yuletti. I don't know. You can also get, besides the two CD here, uh, there's a couple of other options. There is a two LP version. And then there's a 2LP numbered black uh, with red splatter version. And I believe it's a, a foil cover on it too. So it looks really cool, but it was really super expensive. 
And right now I'm just kind of sticking with CD with Tom. So I, I'm kind of trying to keep my budget for the vinyl stuff for the Beatles, seeing as they're so expensive on that anyway that we can't afford the other bands. So, But as long as good little CD packages like this come out, and I am at heart a CD collector. So more kind of Tom Petty news from recently too. Um, it, it's kind of old news now because it happened this past weekend, um, October 17th to the 20th. Uh, we had Heartbreakers Beach Party uh, playing in theaters, in select theaters. Obviously nothing near me here, but um, I would have loved to have went and seen that. That, that would have been fun to see. And I really hope they put out a, a Blu-ray on it here coming up soon because uh, I, I, it looks like a fun film to see. Uh, kind of goofy, kind of fun, but documentary and stuff. And I always love watching rock and roll documentaries. So uh, anyways, <laughs> but that's pretty much it for uh, Long After Dark there, the deluxe edition. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to sitting down and listening to this and really enjoying it. Um, I, I think this is going to be fun. I hope the remaster is much better than the last remaster, which is unfortunately the Loudness Wars type remaster. I hope they fix that with this. Tom's stuff is some of the only stuff I know everybody complains about it, but of my collection here, it's only really been his stuff that's been in that Loudness War, and that's that's really unfortunate. Um, so I'm trying to find kind of the older stuff over the, the last remaster stuff because that's the Loudness War stuff. The older stuff has been fine. So um, I think it's a Warner Brothers thing if you want to know the truth on that. the I don't think the... Uh, or is it Warner Brothers or... Well, this is uh, Geffen. So I don't know who... Oh, well, this is Universal Music, so... I've not had anything Universal Music too bad on that, so uh, so hopefully uh, it should be all right with this. Uh, but yeah, the not Warner Brothers. Who was he with before Warner Brothers? MCA. I'm sorry, MCA. Sorry, Warner Brothers. I'm throwing you under the bus here. It was, I think MCA. It was bad stuff. I don't know. Let me see here before I get talking out of my ass too much more here. Damn the torpedoes. MCA. No, this is the old one. This one's good. This is no. It is Warner. Okay, sorry. At War I was right to throw Warner under the, the bus here. Uh, so yeah, the Warner stuff. But like I said, the newer stuff, like the Wildflowers uh, big box set, that hasn't been bad. But um, like these ones, uh, if you see the back here, um, I'll show you the disc label. That's probably the best way to see. These ones are the bad ones. So speaking of which, I guess we could look at, yeah, Long After Dark, maybe. No, I got the good one on this one. This is, I think, the older MCA style. No, this is the bad one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so comparing it, hopefully this remaster <laughs> fixes this remaster because this that's terrible. And, and just to kind of let you know, I, I had a few people, I've mentioned that before, showing some of my Tom Petty stuff. What happens is you turn it to a proper level that it seems like it's right, but because they've got it so you know, maxed out on the mastering there. The, they got everything just t turned to, to 11, basically. Uh, it it sounds like it's at an appropriate level when you start listening to it, but the longer you listen to it at that level, and it seems like if you turn it down even just a little, and usually it, it's... So let's say in my car, I usually turn my volume up to 30, we'll say. This, you got to keep it about 25. And even at that, it, it taxes on your ears after so long and, and your ears really start to hurt, really get kind of painful. At least mine do with this. It, it, it really just, and and the fact you got to keep it down a little lower than, than other stuff. And like I said, I really hope they don't do that with this. I'll report back at some point on this after I get it listened to. I'll give you a good review of what I found on it. So um, see as I make such a big deal of it on this. But anyways, I didn't want to make this too long and I feel like I'm really rambling on it. Um, but yeah, I really hope that it is not part of that and I'm going to get signing out because I'm starting to ramble again. Um, but before I do get signed out, I want to once again thank all my subscribers and thanks to any new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and do hit the notification bell so you know when I got new videos coming out. Also, please give the video a like. It really does help out the channel and the video. And if you've stuck around to this point, like I always say, you must like it. So please give it a like and do leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this new deluxe edition of Long After Dark. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Loudness War CDs. And do you agree with me that the Warner uh, remasters that Tom Petty put out were pretty bad for that? Um, but the old MCA stuff was pretty good, so um, I haven't had a, any trouble with any of the ones I found on the old MCA mastering, so uh, they're about right. 
Anyways, <laughs> there we go again, rambling. I'm going to get signing out, though. I am Beetle Dustino, signing out.